Hello and welcome to my very first dev server video of patch 1.59. Um, this is the very first time I am doing something this. I did one try before, but it was like 50 minutes long. I have to condense it way, way more. Not just for rendering and uploading, but also it's just too long to watch. Okay, but we have a lot of uh, vehicles in the game. So we have the LVT A1, which is a um, amphibious tank. Um, 37 millimeter gun and uh, coaxial machine gun and those two machine guns also work but they are to the back it's not the fastest vehicles but 12 degrees of gun depression so furthermore we have the M551 Sheridan uh, let's have a look at it yeah 152 millimeter gun um, also a 50 cal but it doesn't work vertically at the moment it just works horizontally let's have a uh, look at the ammunition we have 354 millimeters of heat penetration which is a lot you know and you get this from from the first uh, you have it from the very first battle onwards also a very good heat shell uh, 45 millimeters of penetration but also the ATGM which has 430 one millimeters of penetration it's also working like a heat yeah uh, then also we have the m48 uh, m48 a1 pattern 3 uh, APCR shell 271 millimeters for a 90 millimeter gun um, then we have a APHE shell which is weak in penetration but good in damage potential and also a 320 millimeter uh, penetrating heat shell the rate of fire is impressive. I got it down to 5.9 seconds and compared to the M47 Pattern 2, it is a TO3 upgrade. So the share, so the um, grind um, research point wise and long wise is not as painful if you try to research it, you know, uh, in game or by playing. Then we have the T29 at battle rating 6.7. Let's have a look at it in the preview. Um, strangely higher in the armor. The turret front is, is registered at 203mm, not the advertised nearly 300mm. Um, prominent cupola, big turret, a uh, few weak points here, the machine gun and also the... Um, yeah, below the um, gun mantle, so to say. Have I overlooked something? I don't think so. Let's go to the plane. Uh, for the moment, we just have the B-18A, uh, which is a tier 1 bomber, battle rating 2.0, decent bomb loads. Um, let's have a preview. Um, yeah, not the sharpest knife in the toolbox, I guess, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I think that's it for the American planes. Let's have a look at the Germans. We have a very uh, strange edition, um, which is the Heinkel 219A7, which has a very unique arrangement of guns. We have two 30mm MK108. Those are the same guns as we have on the B109 G6 and uh, G10, G14, K4 and the ME262. So they have a rather low rate of fire. But two 20mm MG151-20 with 600 rounds is a good ammunition. And also two 30mm MK103 with 200 rounds. So that's a basically a B6R3 with a little bit lower ammunition capacity on a twin engine heavy fighter so to say I think this is a radar antenna for night fighting battle rating 5.7 yeah um, nice plane I guess then also we have a new biplane the Henschel 123A1 let's have a look at it um, yeah this is basically one of the first Stukas bomb lowered 4 uh, 50 kilogram bombs and a 250 kilogram bomb two machine guns battle rating 1.3 this is a uh, designated as a light fighter but it also I think in the second world war it served as a ground attacker yeah I think that's also that's it for planes as well uh, as far as I can see then we have um, a T-34 uh, 747R let's have a preview it looks like a, a T-34 
um, Mod 1940 um, with a 76mm gun, F-34. Yeah, the armor, we have additional armor platings on the front and also a lot of uh, side plates, so um, battle rating 4.0, a few weak points, yeah, prominent weak points, but they're also relatively strong and angled, even the lower plate uh, uh, does have an additional armor plate, different cupola, I guess. Yeah, lots of ammunition for crew members, nothing too special, 1550 1, gold, a new premium is also here, we have the KV2 uh, 754R, let's have a look at the modification, yeah that's basically a, well it seems to have a little bit less penetration, no, no it's like the normal KV2 but it's, it looks like more like a uh, KV2 mod 1940 if I'm not too wrong Ch different cupola does it have additional armor uh, I don't see any additional armor except maybe here no idea yeah let's go on we also have the Stura Emil uh, let's have a look at it uh, battle rating 6.7, fantastic, brutal, 128mm. Uh, of course, this is very similar to the Dicke Max in terms of design. Also, fi 15 degrees of, um, of gun depression, a bit more frontal armor, if you want to see it. You're mostly safe from machine gun fire. Maybe you're vulnerable from the side, but not so much from the front to machine gun fire. Everything else should go right through. Um, low horsepower to ton ratio, under 10, way under 10. Let's have a look at the modification, what the gun is capable of. 226 millimeters of penetration, which is uh, below the long 88 uh, penetration from the stock shell, but 239 millimeters of penetration, which is above just above of the long 88 millimeters penetration but you can see we have a lot of uh, high explosive filler on both shells a TNT equivalent of, of like one and a half pounds or 786.5 grams that's gonna be devastating additionally I have to say um, we have a new researchable um, uh, module so to say the trauma pack or first aid kit whatever you want to call it which will which is therefore every tank in the game um, yeah if you have a look in the tech tree none of my tanks is fully researched so I have to do it all over again then we also have the Raketenjagd Panzer 2 uh, let's have a look in the preview two rockets I did it in a test drive the reloading mechanism looks awesome it goes back into the hull this goes to the side and uh, you see a little bit of the inside of the tank it is fantastic looks really really good um, yeah and you can fire them both at once basically or you can fire one and then the other one the aiming is a bit different um, between the rocket tanks um, yeah but I can't cover it here I guess the other tank we have is also the, res the new reserve tank for the Germans Panzer 3M. Nothing too spectacular, you just have two machine guns, coaxial to the 37mm, high rate of fire, but you know, nothing too special, weak armor. Yeah, nothing too special, basically. Have I ever. Did I overlook something? Don't think so. Yeah, new tanks for the Russians. Um, do I spot something premium wise? Yes, I do. The KV2 with the C6. Um, this is a 107mm gun with a penetration of 172mm at 90 degrees at 10 meters. Battle rating 5.3. Let's have a look at it. I'm sorry, I'm doing this very rapid. Uh, yeah, it looks like a KV2. No additional armor. Again, poor gun depression, just 5 degrees. Uh, yeah, big weak spot or uh, big flat area which is easily penetrated by everything it faces. But the gun ha does have a mighty punch, so to say. Um, yeah, again, a quick look at the ammunition. 
440 grams of TNT that's a mighty punch as well maybe not as mighty as the German 128mm but you know it hurts regardless then we also have the ASU 57 which I think was um, designed for air support or being dropped by aircraft um, we have a really high rate of fire and also look at the look at the level of detail that the shells uh, yeah it's a really nice tank poor gun depression and also you know a narrow gun firing arc but 4.7 battle rating let's have a look at the shells we have a 142 millimeter penetrating APHE shell not too bad 128 millimeter solid shot I have no idea what uh, what it's good for maybe a bit more in a, uh, penetration retention over distance but APCR 196 millimeters but rapid drop in performance not just over angles but also distance that's that's a massive drop it's just usable uh, under 500 meters basically yeah uh, looks awesome like the design of it but the armor really thin you even have to be afraid of machine gun fire we, we will see how it turns out then also we have the ASU 85 which is basically um, up armored up gun version yeah better armor you're safe from high explosive shells most of the time and also uh, machine gun fire in their side very weak this is purely a support tank uh, like the look of it looks very aggressive like I like the lights here on the seems like infrared light and uh, the, the gun design looks nice also decent rate of fire I guess okay for a 85 millimeter yeah then we also have a highly anticipated um, rocket tank battle rating 7.7 .7 just one shell uh, one rocket to fire you just have 15 80 gms but as we can see in the uh when we look at the stats 500 millimeters of penetration that's that's hefty you know that's really really big uh heat penetration then let's go on i think that was it that was it with tanks uh yeah mm, new planes uh, no new premium um, yeah we have a new jet the Yak-30 at currently battle rating 6.7 I think this will be adjusted uh, seems quite similar to the LA-15 in terms of design armament and maybe even speed maximum speed is uh, around about the same I'm not a jet expert ask someone else but you know it doesn't seem right the battle rating if it is, if it was designed, you know, at a time where the MiG-15 bis and uh, the LA-15 entered production and were already designed, but the real shocker comes here, the TU-4. This will be, this will be brutal. This plane. This is basically a B-29 with even heavier bomb load and even more brutal defensive fire. Uh, yes. Uh, your eyes don't deceive you you have five turrets with dual 23 millimeter nr 23 cannons and a big amount of ammunition um yeah also you know the arrangement you cover all parts of the plane you can shoot everywhere if you were pissed off by the b29 or by the il-28 this is the worst of both worlds combined for you if you try to attack it but let's have a look at this really insane bomb load uh, up until this point it's more or less like the b29 but here we have eight 1500 kilogram bombs um giving it a total bomb load of uh 11500 kilograms they it seems like they have adjusted or corrected the exact weight it says here that each bomb weighs 1400 kilograms and ha contains 675 kilograms of explosive mass but this is really brutal like four three thousand kilogram bombs that's just insane 
giving you nearly 12 tons of bombs. This is th by far, or in my experience, the, the biggest bomb load. That That's insane. That's insane. Def Battle rating 6.3, 6.7. Give it 6.7, please. Um, yeah, but we will see how it turns out. We will feel how it turns out. Then, let's go to the British and we have no new chat. We have um, the Halifax BMK3A. Yeah, let's have a look at it. Yeah, not the prettiest, but look at the defensive gunners. Battle rating 3.3 with a quadruple 50 cal rear gunner and a quadruple 7.7 .7 gunner here. Don't attack it from above or behind. Attack it from the front. One machine gun, 7.7. .7. Doable. Um, yeah, also the bomb load is pretty, pretty awesome for battle rating 3.3. Uh, yeah, 15 100 kilogram bombs basically stock. Then you can upgrade to 15 250 kilogram bombs. But this bomb load is also very, very good, you know, basically giving you five and a half tons at battle rating 3.3. Wow, this this will be nasty. This plane will be nasty. Um, is there anything? else hopefully i didn't forget anything so far doesn't look like it army yeah um we have basically no new tech tree tanks as far as i can see no but we have uh two new premiums the commonwealth rp3 uh, with a battle rating of 3.3 costing just under 3500 gold this is basically a normal cromwell but with four rockets, let's have a look at the direct stats. 75 millimeters of penetration. This is high explosive penetration, I guess. Yeah, uh, projectile mass, 43 kilograms. If this hits you and you're not really armored, or it hits you where the blast, you know, can th go through other armor, uh, armor plates that are not as thick. You will feel the pain, the gun is nothing too spectacular. Yeah, looks nice um, if you're a friend of British tanks and you like something rather unique. It looks unique. Um, then we also have the STRV-81. And... Um, yeah... 20 pounder gun i'm a really big fan of a of a 20 pounder especially when you have access to apds with 285 millimeters of penetration you never face you know the top tier tanks and everything and against everything else you have apds which works and you have three rockets i'm not quite sure about the effectiveness of them but a tank with a 20 pounder with access to APDS, I really like the um, you know the Tech Tree version, the Centurion Mark III. Prefer it really much um, over the Centurion Mark X, which is surprisingly because it should be better. But for me, it doesn't work like that. Yeah, I think that's it for the British as well. I ho really hope I haven't overlooked anything. Yeah, we have covered. Yeah. Of course, how could I forget it? I knew it was it was coming. This is the first turbo jet uh, or turbo prop in the game counter rotating counter rotating props. I'm sorry, I'm doing this in one sitting. Uh, and yeah, I've flown it. The sound is really awesome. If you haven't downloaded the dev server yet, um, there is a video I found on the internet um, where you can look it up how to install the dev server and yeah it seems to be not that fast but uh, when i did the test flight but look at the look at the weapon loadout torpedo 16 rockets that's nice and you know you have it from the very beginning because it's premium better rating of 5.3 we will see how it turns out so sorry for the short interruption, I had to get myself something to drink. 
I think I will cut that out. Yeah, um, but we then go to the Japanese and we have two nice planes actually. This is the Ki uh, 61 2 at battle rating 4.7 and we have two 20 millimeters which are located above the engine and two 12.7 uh, machine guns in the wings and we have a decent ammunition loadout this looks awfully familiar to or yeah it, it, it looks like MC202 and the uh, engine sound reminds me of a BF109 so it's a license build DB601 or something like that yeah, but the real bomber comes here. We have a new N1K, and this is the N1K1JA. And when we have a look at the preview, this looks brutal. This this looks brutal. And we see that uh, the two that two of the twenty millimeters are in gun pods, and those gun pods look really bulky. Battery five point zero, and believe your eyes. Four cannons with four thousand rounds of ammunition, and two seven point seven with one thousand one hundred. Four thousand rounds of twenty millimeter ammunition. You can spray all day long, unless you overheat your guns. But I expect this plane to be rather heavy, you know, because let's have a look at the X-ray. Uh, I have no idea where they stored the ammunition because it looks more like drums, you know, like like 60 round drums. I think somebody just miswrote that. Maybe it's 400 rounds. That, so that sounds much more reasonable. 4,000 rounds. In the test flight it worth 4,000 rounds. I, I tried it out, but I had to... It was it 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 took a long time because I overheated the guns. Otherwise, if you run out in uh in uh of ammunition in this plane, you're doing something wrong. Yeah, that's. So we have no new premium. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to the patch. I'm really looking forward to research all the medikits, or the shock pack, or whatever they are called. And um, because often one of my one of my crew members uh, gets knocked out, and I just have two remaining, uh, so the trauma pack will be a good addition for especially tanks with low uh, crew member with a low number of crew member. But look at look at those warheads! Look, oh wow, this. And also the level of detail, you can say what you want about Gaijin, but they have overdone themselves again. I mean, look at the wood planking, the gun breach, it, oh, it looks awesome. I'm really looking forward to it. Also, I had a look at the new map, which looks also awesome. Sadly, I can't put it in the video. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, hope you enjoyed it, and see you next time.